সকল ঘরে আমার স্কুল টুডে আই এম উইথ ইউ আই এম সৈয়দ ফিরোজ আলম ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস হাউ আর ইউ আই হোপ অল অফ ইউর ওয়েল বাই দি গ্রেস অফ অল মাইটি আল্লাহ টুডে আই উইল টেক আ ক্লাস ফ্রম ইংলিশ ফর টুডে বুক ইট ইজ লেসন ইলেভেন ইউ ক্যান সি দ্য টাইটেল হেয়ার দ্য টাইটেল অফ দিস লেসন আর ইউ লিসেনিং পার্ট ওয়ান ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস ফর ইউর বেটার আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ডিং I have divided today's class into four sections such as reading and explaining the text, showing some videos, doing some exercise and finally giving you some homework. Okay, dear students, let's get started. Here you can see the learning outcomes of today's lesson. After we have studied this lesson, we will be able to recognize English sounds recognize word and stress on words in sentences recognize intonation in sentences read aloud texts with proper pronunciation stress and intonation dear students let's watch a video now here you can see words like eyes and eyes then you can see male and male then you can see eight and eight then you can see sail and sail here you can see right and right here you can see here and here in this picture you can see c and c in this picture you can see blue and blue in this picture you can see flower and flower in this picture you can see here and here so dear students the words are pronouncing same but they are different in meaning so today i am going to introduce you with a new item it is called homophones do you know what homophone is homo means same and phone means sound that means homophone means the word that has same sound but they are different in their meaning okay let's see what homophone is a homophone is a word that is pronounced the same to varying extent as another word but differs in meaning a homophone may also differ in spelling the two words may be spelled the same such as rose that means flower and rose it means past tense of rise or differently such as carrot and carrot or two two and two as you can see in the screen The term homophone may also apply to units longer or shorter than words such as phrases, letters or group of letters which are pronounced the same as another phrase, letter or group of letters. Any unit with this property is said to be homophonous. Homophones that are spelled the same are also both homographs and homonyms. The Oxford Guide to Practical Lexicography lists various types of homographs including those in which the words are discriminated by being in a different word class such as heat. When it is used as verb it means strike and heat when it is used as a noun it means 
a blow. Dear students, I have you have got an idea about what homophone is. Let's see a video so that you can get a better idea about homophones. Today we will discuss about homonyms. Homonyms further divided into two parts. One is homophones and the other is homographs. In this lesson, we will discuss about homophones. Let's get started. So, what is a homophone? It is made of two words and the words are homo and phone. Homo means same and phone means sound. There are words in English that have same sound but different spelling and meaning. These words are called homophones. I repeat, homophones are words having same sound or pronunciation but differ in meaning and spelling. Let's discuss some examples of homophones. First one is sun and sun. There is no difference in the sound but there is difference in a spelling. The first one is S-O-N, sun, and second one is S-U-N, sun. And both of them have completely different meaning. S-O-N, sun, means the relation of a boy with his parent. Like, Arun has a son. On the other hand, S U N sun means the star which is center of solar system. A sentence example of this is sun rises from the east. So these two words are called homophones. Let's go to the next example C and C. Did you hear any difference? No, there is no difference in the sound, but there is difference in spelling. First one is S W -E C and the second one is S E A C. Both of them have completely different meaning. The word S W -E C refers to watch with the eye. Let's have a sentence example. I can see that cow. On the other hand, S-E-A-C refers to a huge lake. A sentence example is, he lives near the sea. So, these two words are called homophones as they have same sound but they differ in meaning and their spelling. Another example is, plain and plain. Again, the sound same but differ in meaning and the spelling. Plain means simple in a structure. As example, it was a plain room. The second one is a transport. Sentence example is, he went to Kashmir via plane. So, these two words can be called as homophones. Let's look into the next example. Peace and peace. Again, there is no difference in sound, but difference in spelling and meaning. The word peace means stability from any disturbance. Sentence example is, Shabi's mind was in complete peace after medication. The second word refers to a portion of an object. As an example, he gave me a small piece of cheese. That means these are homophones too. One more example of homophone is 8 and 8. 8 refers to a number. Sentence example is he got 8 out of 10 marks in a test. The meaning of the second word is totally different. 8 is the past form of the word it. Example is 
Sanjay ate all the chocolates yesterday. So these are also homophones. Today we learn five examples of homophones. These pairs have the same sound but they have difference in meaning and their spelling. So these words are called homophones. So dear learners, I hope you have got a clear idea about what homophone is. Okay, let's start our today's lesson. In this screen, you can see that we have to listen to and read the following words. First, you can see shade and on the right side, you can see shade. They are pronouncing same, but they are different in spelling and they are different in meaning. আমরা যদি এটা একটু বাংলা অর্থ করতে চাই তাহলে দেখতে পাবো যে শেড শেড অর্থ হচ্ছে চালা বা ছায়া যেখানে মানুষ বসে কিছুক্ষণের জন্য আশ্রয় নিতে পারে এবং পরবর্তী শব্দ যেটি আমরা দেখছি সেটি হচ্ছে শেড এই শেড অর্থ হচ্ছে ছায়া যেটা গাছের ছায়া বা অন্য কোনো কিছুর ছায়া হতে পারে সো ইন দিস কেস দ্য ওয়ার্ডস আর প্রোনাউন্সিং সেম বাট দে আর ডিফারেন্ট ইন স্পেলিং অ্যান্ড ডিফারেন্ট ইন মিনিং ইন দ্য নেক্সট ওয়ার্ড ইউ ক্যান সি পিপার এটার অর্থ হচ্ছে কি তোমরা ছবি দেখে বুঝতে পেরেছ অর্থ হচ্ছে বাংলা অর্থ আমরা বলতে পারি মরিচ অন দ্য রাইট সাইড ইউ ক্যান সি পেপার এটার অর্থ হচ্ছে কাগজ তাহলে দেখতে পাচ্ছ প্রিয় শিক্ষার্থীরা আমরা যে এখানে শব্দগুলো দেখতে পাচ্ছি এটা হচ্ছে কি এগুলো হচ্ছে সবই হোমোফোনের উদাহরণ ইন দ্য নেক্সট ওয়ার্ড ইউ ক্যান সি টেস্ট এই শব্দের অর্থটা হচ্ছে কি পরীক্ষা অন দ্য রাইট সাইড ইউ ক্যান সি টেস্ট এই শব্দের অর্থ হচ্ছে স্বাদ তাহলে দেখা যাচ্ছে কি দে আর প্রোনাউন্সড অ্যাজ সেম বাট দে আর ডিফারেন্ট ইন স্পেলিং অ্যান্ড ডিফারেন্ট ইন মিনিং ওকে লেটস মুভ অন টু আওয়ার নেক্সট স্লাইড ইন দিস স্লাইড ইউ ক্যান সি সাম পিকচার্স অ্যান্ড অ্যাজ ওয়েল অ্যাজ সাম ওয়ার্ডস ফার্স্ট ইউ ক্যান সি ওয়েট অ্যান্ড অন দ্য রাইট সাইড ইউ ক্যান সি ওয়েট বোথ আর প্রোনাউন্সড অ্যাজ সেম বাট ওয়েট ওয়েট শব্দের অর্থ হচ্ছে কি ভিজা এবং ওয়েট শব্দের অর্থ হচ্ছে অপেক্ষা করা তাহলে আমরা দেখতে পাচ্ছি কি যে এই শব্দগুলো যদিও একই রকম উচ্চারিত হচ্ছে কিন্তু তাদের বানান এবং অর্থগত দিক থেকে কিন্তু কি তারা ভিন্ন ইন দ্য নেক্সট ওয়ার্ড ইউ ক্যান সি পেন অ্যান্ড অন দ্য রাইট সাইড ইউ ক্যান সি পেন পেন শব্দের অর্থ আমরা জানি কলম এবং পেন পেন শব্দের অর্থ আমরা জানি পীড়া ব্যথা বা যন্ত্রণা In the next word you can see man and on the right side you can see main. Man, man shabd ar thamra bolte pari ki? Manush. Main, main shabd ar thamra bolte pari ki? Kesho. Tahole, the words that we have seen today, they are pronounced as same, but they are different in spelling and different in meaning. Okay. Do you notice any difference between the vowel sound in the words on the left column and the vowel sounds in the words on the right? Dear learners, do you see any difference? Listen to and repeat the sounds in the section A again. Okay, let us read these words again. First, shade and on the right side shade this is intonation that is rise and fall of voice while speaking any words then you can see paper and on the right side you can see paper in the next word you can see taste and on the right side you can see taste so Can you see any difference in the pronunciation of vowels in these words? Definitely, there are some difference. In the next word, you can see weight and on the right side, you can see weight. Next, you can see pain. On the right side, you can see pain. Last, you can see man and on the right side, you can see Main. 
So dear learners, I hope you have gotten clear idea about these questions. Okay, let us move to our next slide. Read the following sentences first. Notice the underlined words carefully. You have to notice the underlined words carefully. Then listen to and repeat the sentences pronouncing the underlined words properly using the vowel sounds you just practiced in section A. First, I met Benu and her roommate in the bookstore. So here the underlined words are met and mate. The difference is in the pronunciation of vowel sound. Number B, they were buying some papers and pens. Papers and pens. Number C, I remember her friend's face, but I cannot remember her name. Here, face and name. Number D, later I met them again the same day at the bus station. Here you can see the underlined words later, met, same, day, station. And in the last sentence, you can see they were waiting for some friends to come. Here the underlined word is waiting. Okay, let's move to our next slide. So dear learners, let's pronounce these words again. You also pronounce these words with me. First one, waist and on the right side, waist, dipped, date, late, late, get, gate, tell, tail. So I hope you have pronounced these words with me. Now. This is all from today's lesson. So, today you have been introduced to a new theme or a new topic that is homophone. And in this lesson, we have seen that homophones are words with same pronunciation, but they differ in spell and they differ in meaning. So, I will give you some homework from today's lesson. Here in the screen you can see the homework. Read the following sentences, add E to the underlined word in each sentence to make a new word. Now fill in the blank in the sentence with the new word, one is done for you. So what you have to do, you have to add E to the underlined word in each sentence to make a new word. So dear student, you must do the homework and you must show it to your subject teacher when your school will open. And if you want to see this class again, you should go to our Facebook page, Amar Ghore Amar School. You can go to our YouTube channel and also you can go to Kishor Batayan. And if you have any queries or if you want to share your opinion with us, please feel free to share your opinion or questions through email. That's all for today, dear students. Thank you.